Welcome foodies! In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make low carb and sugar free fig newtons. So let's start with the ingredients. For the filling, you will need about one pound of dried figs, one cup of a sugar substitute, and about one to two cups of water. And for the crust part of the fig newton, you will need half a cup of butter, one cup of sugar substitute, one large egg, one tablespoon of almond milk or any other milk that you prefer, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, and three cups of almond flour. Let's move on to the filling. So here we have our dried figs. I know they look super weird and very strange, but I promise you that these are figs. And for the filling, all we have to do is cut them into quarters. So to do that, all you have to do is cut the fig in half and then cut the fig in half again. And then all you have to do is repeat this process until you have cut all your figs. Once you have finished cutting all your figs, you can add your water. You want enough water to cover all the figs, but you don't want the figs to be drowning. Some of the figs might be sticking up, so you can just use your hands to push them down and make sure that all the figs are covered with water. You want to soak these figs for 45 minutes to one hour at room temperature. Now let's get started on the cookie part of the fig newton. Here I am, I just have my room temperature butter and I'm just whisking that until it's light and airy like this. And now I'm just going to be adding in our sugar substitute and just mixing it until it's well combined. Now I'm just going to be adding in the eggs and mixing it up. So now I'm just going to be adding in my almond milk. Again, you can use any type of milk you want. And now you just add your vanilla extract. Now you want to start adding in your almond flour a little at a time with a spatula. This is also where you would add your baking powder, but unfortunately I lost the clip for that. Once the dough is fully combined, you want to put it on some cling film or plastic wrap and chill it in the fridge for about an hour. We're doing this to make sure that the dough is firmer and it's easier to work with and also so the butter doesn't melt so our dough isn't oily. Meanwhile, after the figs are done soaking, you can just throw them into a pot at medium heat and let them cook. This is also where you would add your sugar substitute, and you just want to mix this in until the sugar has completely dissolved. It should look a little something like this, and you want to continue cooking until all the water has completely evaporated like this, and now you can just puree this mixture in a food processor or a blender. As you guys can see, this is what the figs look like after you have blended them into one smooth paste. Now we're going to be working on our dough. So after it is chilled in the fridge for about an hour, we're just going to take it out and knead it. A handy little trick that I learned from handling dough with almond flour is that you can't use almond flour 
to make it not stick to your work surface as you would do with a dough that was made with regular all-purpose flour. Um, I find you can't use it, you have to use water. I don't know why this works, but it does. And you just want to put a little on your surface and also on the dough just to make sure it doesn't stick. So here I have a silicon mat. I highly recommend that you use a silicon mat to help roll out the dough and you'll see why in a second. And right now I'm just spreading a little bit of water on top of the silicon mat just as another measure to keep the dough from sticking when we roll it out. So now you just want to take your dough and roll it out on the mat in a rectangular shape. Once it is evenly rolled out like this, you can just use a knife to cut the sides to make it more even on all sides. Once you're happy with the way that your dough looks, you can take your filling and just spread it out on your dough. Try and keep the filling on um, one side um, because it will make it easier later on when we fold the dough over onto itself. Once you have the filling nice and spread out, you just want to take one side of your silicone mat and just flip it onto itself, like kind of making kind of like a book shape, I don't really know. And just press down lightly just to make sure everything is sticking properly. And then you just have to peel it off. And if there are any cracks or imperfections, you can try to like pinch them back together. Um, but it's not necessary because you can always just cut it off. Also just press down on the side to make sure that everything is secure and the filling won't leak out. Once you're done trying to cover up any imperfections, you can just slide the mat onto a baking tray.
once you have successfully put the mat on the tray, you can bake at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. Once it has come out of the oven, let it cool down and it should be golden brown and slightly firm to the touch. Now you can start cutting your fig newtons and you can cut them as big or as small as you would like. And here is our low carb and sugar free fig newtons. I can't believe how amazing these turned out. Like these taste so good. Like I promise you, you will not regret making these. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye.